And good morning, folks. This is video four, panic shopping. We are running out of time. We have only maybe less than three weeks before certain countries, certain areas in the United States, uh, countries, I mean, in the world, are locking down. They're not exporting food. Uh, they're breaking down the supply chain because they can't get their food out and they're worried that they might not getting food in. So a lot of things are happening this week. This is called panic shopping. And if you think it was bad during the Red Dragon in 2020 and 2021, it gets a lot worse. Okay? Certain areas in the United States will be closed. All right? You are not going to get product unless you go direct to the farmer or dairy. You will not get anybody from the middleman area, That's including shipping, whatever. And you keep telling these people, this is not the time to ban rabbits and chickens in people's backyards. You should put in everything. And also, I tell everybody, plant a garden, no matter what, no matter what size. You get veggie pods. They have an indoor one, too. Veggie pods from Amazon. Put one or two in your backyard. I keep mentioning this all the time. But plant a garden, any kind of garden in the backyard. Make sure it's a food garden. Okay? Panic shopping. One, certain areas in the United States, further away from distri distribution area or distribution line, it's going to get bad. California has it pretty good. East Coast, Central States, Mountain States, you're screwed. South, that's one of the problems with hacking. Okay, you're going to get it bad, especially on the coast. All right, that's not the supply chain issue. It's bureaucratic blunder, and you know who what we're talking about. If your senator is way too old, or he's a dino or a rhino, and doesn't understand what's going on, everything will be fine. No, it isn't. It's time to throw him out. All right, I already voted. I'm done. I still got to do, uh, let's see, I still have to raise about $200 or $199 for three food boxes. I have to go to jury duty, which I'm going to enjoy. I always like to go over to the courthouse. Makes them nervous. And then I got to tell people, if you have a restaurant supply store that's open, okay, this is a chef store, it's a restaurant supply store that's open to the general public. It helps if you have a wholesaler's license. Okay? Right there. Restaurant food and supplies. So you get your bulk stuff here. And it's one of the easier ones. If you watched Modern Refugees video, Modern Refugees video on bulk soup supply stores. These are Mendonite and Amish stores that have bulk, all right? Reason why is this is for Amish and Mendonite areas. So please check them out and get your supplies early. I tell a lot of people panic shopping is not including food and other essentials. It's affecting gas and fuel. So if your home is run on natural gas, you figure out if you have an alternative fuel source, like wood, to heat your house during the winter. Also, we're going to have heat waves, have alternative cooling methods. If anybody noticed, I have fans all over the house. I have a, a swamp cooler, too. So that's my backup. And I have a solar panel for the swamp cooler. People don't think. Uncle Alan welded a little door on the swamp cooler. I have an ice maker, and that's also solar power. So I just dump ice in there, and I get nice, cool, it's moist air throughout the house with the fans. Okay, Uncle Alan thought this way ahead of time in 2012, where everybody's laughing. Yeah, Uncle Alan's like the Mayan prediction or Aztec prediction. De heat, de heat, de heat. 
wrong. Okay, this is 2022, and all you boobs who were laughing at Uncle Alan, okay, you just do the same setup, get a swamp cooler, put it on the side of the house. This does not work in the south, works for me because I live in the desert, and my humidity is zero. My favorite trout stream, there's tumbleweeds rolling by. That's how bad it is. And does Arizona... California, Wash, well, Oregon puts in any, any condensers. I've been yelling this for over 40 years. Why not use condensers? And everybody from those muckety mucks in Washington to those idiots in academic that's all the college heads were laughing at old Uncle Al. Now the AU, you, UAE already put some for their water problems. They're about 10 years ahead of us. We're behind of everything of everybody. All right. So this is video for panic shopping. So get your supplies now. If you have gasoline, use a fuel stabilizer. If you have diesel, use a fuel stabilizer. Gasoline will last up to six to eight months with a fuel stabilizer and diesel anywhere from two, one to two years, if kept properly. And I've been looking at people, I'm like shaking my head, like, why are you getting that thing for the back of your truck? Well, I'm gone, it's the latest thing. Yeah, but it will leak. Okay, I have a friend with a truck, farm truck. I told him, we're going to go to Fresno. We're picking up a 55-gallon drum. We're picking up two 55-gallon drums. We're going to stop by Tractor Supply and picking up a fuel pump. And he's looking at me. Why are we doing that? Uh, so when the diesel truck comes by and your main tank's been tapped or shot up, you have these two other t barrels of fuel. And... This is a hand pump. You crank the pump, it takes the fuel out of the drum and into your truck. Danny finally realized what I was talking about. And we have it set up, and we have it set up good. All right, it's like, Uncle Al's getting too old for this. All right, a lot of you should have been thinking about this a long time ago. Result of panic shopping, you're way too late. I'm going to have some guy like DOE, I got to feed my kids. Where's the baby formula? And here's Uncle Alan, like, this one's an M1A. And the old NATO round. And if you can't think that Uncle Alan could pop a man-sized target at 600 yards, think again. I might have glaucoma. I might be blind, but I have another set of glasses. And I can put into a man-sized silhouette five or six rounds. I don't want to hear some guy screaming and yelling seven yards away. Yeah, I think I still could hit that target. All right, screaming, I need baby formula for my kids. All right. And I'll catch you later. You have a nice day. Uncle Alan's taking the day off on Sunday. I rarely do that, but I'm not feeling well. And you're running out of time. And I'll be seeing you. Bye now.